Hey everyone. Uh, I'm sitting down here with a little uh, dinner, breakfast dinner. I got some buffalo steak from India. I got some onions and oyster mushrooms I uh, cooked up. And then I got some gold potatoes. Uh, put some Italian herbs on that and then just like a simple, simple salad. Put a little lime juice on everything, a little mustard. This is black garlic. If you haven't had black garlic before, it's like, it's amazing. It's like got this sticky texture, kind of like tamarind. If you've had tamarind, um, super good. So this is like a fermented superfood. And it's very soft and almost jammy. So freaking good. Has like a subtle sweetness. It's like all the funk from the garlic is gone after the, the fermentation process. Mm. I've been big on the mustard lately for some reason. Anyways, before this, I had some what did I have? Uh, coconut water, some rambutans, rambutan, and like a, a little like half piece of a red dragon fruit. It was a big dragon fruit. So, you know, maybe like a cup of dragon fruit. And, um, oh, I did have some coconut yogurt as well. Like I get the fresh coconut cream and then I leave it in my fridge. I don't use all of it. You know, and then it turns into like this cheesy yogurty goodness. Like after three days, I put a little honey on top. It's like freaking amazing. Um, but yeah, I wanted to talk today about uh, fructose to glucose ratio in fruits. Now, some fruits, if you look into it, you'll see that the glucose ratio is higher than the fructose ratio. It's like a two to one or like a one to one. Those are ideal. Two to one is probably the best for um, this particular, if you're having some liver issues or if you're trying to heal your liver, like I am. Um, some fruits, for example, that have higher fructose than glucose are like watermelon and mangoes. And um, yeah, so I've been looking into that and uh, Rambutan and soap berries like lychees um, have a really good ratio. Actually, jackfruit has one of the best ratios. It's like a three to one almost. Um, but a lot of the fruits, you know, they're like a one to one. They're like a pretty good ratio. But um, not to say that like watermelon or mangoes are bad or anything. It's just that if you're wanting to heal your, look at that, nice rare on the inside. If you're wanting to heal your liver because of years of damage, you're gonna to wanna to be aware of these things, not eat like 20 mangoes, you know, like I used to do. <laughs> Which is probably one of the reasons why my liver is messed up. Um, I haven't looked at durian yet. I'm curious about durian, um, but I was happy to find that red dragon fruit has a really nice two to one ratio. That's one of my favorite fruits and I believe it to be very high in antioxidants. It's like up there with you know, everybody's talking about wild blueberries, so, you know, it's up there. And also, this is like something I enjoy doing. Like, I don't just do this because it's like healing. That's a great, you know, part of it. I really enjoy eating this way. It frees my mind so much during the day. I don't have to think about it. One meal a day, very simple. And I get so satisfied after a meal like this.
So yeah, um, if there's other people out there with liver issues, look into it. Um, my friend made this chart. He's like a crazy researching guy. And he made a chart of all the different fructose to glucose ratio. And um, yeah, it's been really helpful for me. We'll see how it goes, you know? Play around with it. See if there's some validity to the theory. And um, yeah, you know? Bananas are one of the few fruits that has a one-to-one-to-one -one -to -one -to -one ratio, like all three different types of sugar. It's very balanced. Um, so banana's a good one. But you know, I'm still, I'm still dialing it in. Not like 100% sure. There's nothing really like a potato, is there? I love a potato. Also, this buffalo is quite good. It just tastes like beef. Someone told me it's sweeter. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I found this at the mega market here. I think it's a Thai grocery store or something. But they had this from India, and I looked at it, and it had a great, like, yellow fat on it, which, like, usually means they're grazing. You know, they're actually eating real food, not, like, grains and soy and corn and stuff. So I was like, hey, I'll give that a try. And it wasn't too expensive either. Not at all. I'm happy I got it. It's so much better than keto. <laughs> I don't know how people do that. Of course, maybe people have livers that are like still, you know, able to digest or able to utilize a lot of fats. Not me. been drinking a lot of coconut water too. It actually doesn't have any fructose in it. It's um, glucose. I think it's just glucose and sucrose maybe. But it's a very low amount. It's like not, it's not like a crazy sugary food. But the potassium in there, excellent. Got to get the potassium in. There's potassium in potatoes too actually, a good amount. And tomatoes and greens and all the fruits pretty much. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? I freaking love black garlic. If you haven't tried it, um, check out your Asian supermarket. They'll have it. So good. I don't know, maybe like, I don't know if you would make a sauce out of that somehow, but 
It's very sticky. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. Just wanted to touch on the fructose glucose subject a little bit. Stay away from agave syrup. Oh my God, that one's like so high in fructose. It's even more than high fructose corn syrup and then like low in glucose. It's like, it's crazy. And um, yeah, you know, it's interesting like um, fruit based people They'll be like on the potassium, like uh, just on the potassium. And like, they don't ever do the sodium part. It's like, there's two electrolytes that your body needs like a lot, especially if you're an athlete. Don't be afraid of sodium, man. I'm telling you, it's like, it's so important. Wow, that's a very soft potato. Yeah. That's it for the video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how your liver's doing. <laughs> See you guys in the next one.